OxNY.com. Very cool. Uh, all right, so we got some Peruvian food, I think, next, huh? Thanks yeah, Good nice. Day Cafe, nice. All right. All the way down in South America mm -hmm. is the nation of Peru. Right. It's a very, I've never been there, have you? No, I'd like to go there. It's supposed to be very, very pretty. I've read a lot about it. Actually, Peru, South America, there is a huge Japanese and Chinese influence oh, in Peru. Really? As a matter of fact, the former president of Peru, I think, was Japanese. It's kind of wild. Well, there's a great Peruvian restaurant in our area. It's called? El Anzuelo Fino. It's in Jackson Heights. It started, though, in Peru, in Lima, Peru. We've got the chef with us, Boris Torres. Welcome to Good Day New York. How you doing? Hi, nice to meet you guys. So your dad started the restaurant in Peru? He did, he did actually. He did this uh, even before I was born in 82. Uh, started as a family business and uh, eventually grew up into be something bigger by the time uh, we came to New York. So you heard me making all those observations about Peru, having never been there. Was I somewhat accurate? Was I onto something? You were. You were right on. You were spot on. Well, how did that happen? Um, I really don't know the the, pol uh, the politics behind it, but I know the Chinese came about the 50s, same as the Jap Japanese came a little bit later, and somehow their culture with our culture started to become this fusion of food, and that's what we got today. It sounds delicious. What are we making? Today we're making uh, the famous uh, Peruvian uh, rotisserie chicken. Uh, oh, I love the Peruvian chicken. It has so many del delicious spices on it. It has a little bit of everything, for sure. You got a rotisserie. You put it in a thing and you spin it, right? Yes, sir. All right, first you got to do something to it, though. First, the chicken, when it's raw, we actually like to brine it. So we like to actually have it in uh, some water and salt for about an hour or so. And after it's brined, it, you let it go. Usually we like to dry it up a little bit, mm -hmm. put it in a different container, and marinate it with the marinade that we have here today. Let's hear some of your spices. Sure. We have uh, some rosemary, some black pepper, some uh, kosher salt, cumin, a uh, little bit of white wine, soy sauce, and garlic. Mm. And once we have all this together, we actually make a puree, and the marinade comes to life. Look at it. There's the final... Uh, that's it. That's a batch of it. Now, what do you do? You dunk it in or what? We dunk it right in. And then, Chef, how long do you bake this for? We actually bake it uh, at 425 for about 15 minutes to get a nice little color to it. Uh -huh. Then we cover it with foil for another 45 minutes at 350. And it comes out of the oven, and this is what it looks like. Now, oh, take a look at the yummy. final product here. Uh, you got a Peruvian chicken garnished with a little bit of lettuce. Is that how it's served? That's how I'm serving it to you. That's how I would, yeah. I, that's how I would order it. You're, you're special. One so. big chicken. Greg, Greg would go to town in that. In, that. He, in fact, he's going to go to town in that. I've got my eye on it. That's very Sounds nice. Good. What else did you but bring? But you have beautiful things here, too. Thank you. Thank you. So here we have uh, a perfect example of what Japanese Peruvian is, the ceviche here. Uh, pretty much is uh, raw fish. That's this one here. Which right. one? This one. The this shrimp is the ceviche. And Overall, the ceviche. Overall yeah. we have uh, calamari, octopus, shrimp, uh, lime juice, which cooks all the proteins down with some onions and cilantro. I'm oh, sold. Rosanna, grab it for I love it. And then tell us about the avocado. Um, That's the avocado stuffing. With, uh, I have two different samples. One's a little salmon tartare, and one is a little chicken salad. Oh, delicious. Oh, man. And then what's this over here? Because this looks interesting. This actually has more of a Mediterranean twist to it. It's a uh, pupa olivo. So it's uh, like a black olive aioli with some uh, octopus Oh, it. that looks unbelievable. What's the purple sauce again? It looks... Um... It's like a black olive aioli, like a mayo. Oh, whatever ah, it is, it's good. It's good, right? Yeah. And Chef, tell us about this dish. So this is a Corvina fish fillet with a uh, seafood sauce that has some uh, octopus, shrimp, and uh, a little bit of um, calamari in there. Oh, that looks lovely. So how long have you been in Jackson Heights? Jackson Heights, we've been there for about six years. Let's show the restaurant one more time. I want to get, make sure everybody gets the address. Oh, it's so sure. pretty. Um, Give us the address if you don't mind. Definitely. It's uh, 86 01 Northern Boulevard. It's right in the corner of 86 and uh, Northern Boulevard. Yeah, uh, Boots in there. Boots. 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 Not a booth. Can you sit in the booth? Do you have a booth? <laughs> we do have a booth. All right. Thank okay. you. There you go. People think that he's saying booze. Booth. 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 A booth. <laughs> All right. I'm already and thinking about booze myself. So. <laughs> How many days a week are you open? Every day. Oh. From, every day from 10 to 11. Every day. Boris Torres, hardworking chef who's uh, great at what he does. Thank you, sir. Ellen Thank you, guys. Zuela, did I say it right? You did. And we actually have a new location in Glencove, um, Manka. That's our new little puppy. That's where I'm going to be from now on. Uh, oh, working on Going to the suburbs, huh? Going to the suburbs Look right now. Look at you. Chef, uh, thank you so much. Good Thank stuff. you, guys. All right, Good Day is coming right back. We'll put the recipe on our website, myfoxny.com.